our latest White Pod. I'm Stephen Lane, your host with White Labs, an e-commerce internet marketing agency. Today's guest is Will. Hello. Will, feel free to let our viewers know a little bit about yourself and your background. So hi, I'm Will. I'm British, as you can potentially tell from the <laughs> accent. I am living in the UK, based in York. Of course, when I tell American people that I live in York, they say, New York, that's cool. I was like, no, the original York, the old York. So it's a beautiful <laughs> medieval city with ancient Roman walls that still go around the entire city. And it's a great place. So uh, that's where I have my business. And my business is trying to make medical inhalers feel a little bit more awesome, a little bit more funky, and a little bit more kind of fun and cool. Feel free to dive into the more fun. I've uh, looked at your products <laughs> the last few days and they are fun because in inhalers are really not fun. So I'm explain mixed. more about your product. That's correct. So about, well, in the UK, it's about one in eight people have to carry an inhaler at some point in their life, wow. you know, largely from asthma. You've also got kind of a few other chronic respiratory conditions and those little kind of, you know, greeny, bluey things, they don't feel that nice. And I think taking medication in any any way is not a really fun experience. Most people don't like the feeling of taking medication. It's something that reminds you that you're, you know, that you're unwell ultimately, and nobody wants to be reminded of that. And those small, you know, blue or brown inhalers, they still have like a bit of a stigma attached to them. And so I wanted to do something ultimately to kind of try and flip that stigma on its head. So instead of feeling kind of a little bit awkward when you take out your inhaler and have to use it, it makes you feel cool, literally cool and fun. And it brings a smile to your face ultimately. So what the product is, is it's a, it's a case that goes around the inhaler. So imagine a phone case um, and it's got a few benefits. Firstly, it makes the inhaler look way more awesome. So I've got over 40 designs uh, available, you know, from kind of rubber ducks to kind of and ain't easy being wheezy, like fun slogans, unicorns, dinosaurs, everything. So you can make your inhaler, like customize your inhaler to make it look cool. And then they've got another, you know, some kind of features that make the inhaler better to use. So you, you know, anyone that has an inhaler will know that you lose these mouthpiece cap things that are meant to keep the inhaler's yeah. mouthpiece like clean ultimately, but they're so easy to lose. And then you just get gross mank and hair and dust and stuff inside the inhaler, which you then breathe in, which is bad. Um, and they're really hard to kind of find when you need them. So I just add a little thing that holds the inhaler mouthpiece when you're using the inhaler and then an eyelet so you can attach it to key rings and stuff. Awesome. What, what inspired you to start this? Really, it was, I've got a couple of young daughters and one of their best friends was diagnosed with asthma when she was four and she just hated using that inhaler, hated using it. And so I thought there's got to be a way, you know, to help her parents make it easier to use, you know, to get her to use it. And I've used them as well. I, I need to use an inhaler. And I know firsthand that it's just, it's not a fun experience, but it was really when I saw her parents just struggling so bad to get her to use the inhaler, I thought there's, there's got to be something that can be done. So I made her a unicorn one and it totally, sorry, it totally changed the way she viewed her inhaler ultimately. Awesome. Yeah. So who is, is, do you sell everywhere in the United States, United States everywhere in the UK, or are you worldwide? Where are you, where are you selling as of now? I am selling, I'm literally just trying to get rid of this, these outlet pop-ups, which are probably going to keep coming in. Okay. Hopefully that was all of them. So it's really global already. So I'm really focusing on the UK at the moment. And I'd say like 90% of the sales are UK based. And then, uh, but I do ship and I have shipped to every continent. Yeah. The U S plenty to the U S Australia is quite a lot, Asia, Africa, literally all around the world. Awesome. So who is your, you kind of gone into, so who do you feel are, is your target audience? Is it mostly kids or you have um, we have a, I mean, adults using it as well. It's probably more adults. I'd say it's like 60, 40 adults to kids. Um, so a lot of people wow. say, oh, you know, that's very, that's very kid, you know, cool for kids that is, uh, yeah. but I've got a lot of grown up designs, you know, not like adult designs. Uh, but a lot of like sophisticated designs and you know if you've had to use an inhaler for your whole life and even if you're an adult you, you they're still not that awesome to use and everybody yeah. wants to feel a little bit you know individualistic and unique makes total sense i mean i don't know if you have any competitors and if you do what makes you better than your competitors i mean there are some etsy competitors yeah. so these are people that are you know making them at home ultimately and of course they're good they're fine but they don't have the range of designs that i have and it's a lot more, it's a lot looser fitting. So it kind of makes your inhaler better, maybe arguably a bit, but I've kind of taken mine to the next level. They're really beautifully fit. And also they have the silicon mouthpiece holder. And so that was a pretty significant bit to develop actually. So the engineering behind it to, to get it to kind of 
lock the inhaler's mouthpiece in perfectly, but still make the inhaler easy to use. It took me probably 18 months of like, you know, CAD work, prototyping, etc., to get that to be just right. And it, it's a big benefit, but it also makes the inhaler look, look much better. So at the moment, all the other cases, you know, the mouthpiece just still sticks out and it's the existing mouthpiece. Mine is, is the only real one that covers up the mouthpiece, but it's still easy to use. But largely it's the range of designs. You know, the others have generally single colors, whereas I've got nearly 50 just awesome sort of quite stylish designs and decals what is your most popular design top sellers are the ducks one the rubber ducks one is really popular yeah um, i see that one yeah since i was on dragon's den aka shark tank okay. over there in the u.s at the dogs one i love dogs as doing really well so i think i gave that to stephen bartlett but that's doing really well Dogs and the Cats ones always do well. And then there's some f kind of funky ones up there. There's a Day of the Dead one that's like a Mexican skull, um, uh -huh. which does really, really well. And then the two kind of really most kid-centric ones, which is a unicorn and a dinosaur one. They're always right up at the top. Awesome. So what are some, uh, you know, a lot of our viewers are entrepreneurs and have e-commerce brands like yourself. What are some challenges that you've had in the past few years and how'd you overcome them? The biggest challenge is the product development stuff. So it's shockingly, shockingly hard to make a physical product and make it really good and not end up compromising on, on the product quality. So nothing works out like you'd expect, whether it's product supply issues, whether it's getting prototypes done and them arriving and them not being to the quality that you want. Is li there's just thousands and thousands of tiny things that you don't expect to go wrong, but that do go wrong. The amount of time it takes to get anything done, of course, always takes longer. So it's just grinding through those frustrations, those delays, try not to get too like beaten down when you've got, you know, the third prototype in and it still not right you know whether it's like some parting line on the mold or there's there's thousands of things even for example my product uses um like a glue but it's a very specialist glue it's actually designed for like military boats through those rib origin inflatable boats so i you know i want to make my product to last so i use this it's made in america actually it's a very very high-end glue that the military use to keep their boats together but literally if you leave it for more than you have to leave it for between like 30 and 40 seconds between putting it on and then gluing it if you leave it for 20 seconds it doesn't stick right if you leave it for 45 seconds it doesn't stick right so you have to get it exactly right so you know first 2000 items that i got uh weren't right because they left it for you know 10 seconds too long the glue and that's just constant that's just constant Seriously. all that all that kind of stuff will just happen all the time you gotta be tenacious what is your uh what is your future plan for yourself and the brand keep pushing the brand come to the u.s for sure you know at the moment i ship to the u.s but there's all of you know messing around with like shipping fees and stuff like that so that's not ideal so um setting up distribution in the u.s is really a big thing for me awesome that's it. Yeah. What are some ways, I know you said you went on the, uh, sorry, what, what's the British uh, Shark Tank? What's it called? A Dragon's Den. Dragon's Den. I know you said you went on Dragon's Den. What are some other things you've done to uh, to promote the brand and uh, where can we find you? I know you have the website. I can list it in here as well. It's yeah. Inhaler Taylor, T-A-I-L-O-R. Yeah. What are some things that you're doing to promote the brand? I mean, TikTok's been awesome. Um right. Just getting on there and just trying everything. I do use meta ads. TikTok really is amazing because it's free and it can be very effective if you do something a little bit fun and funky. Like the first video I got on TikTok had over 3 million views and it's got like a few hundred thousand likes on it now. So that was good. That was completely free and that, that drove, you know, thousands of thousands of product sales. But I think it's just, it's grafting and it's trying everything. You know, it's trying meta ads. It's trying to understand what are the product benefits that your customers are bothered about. It's doing videos on them. And it, once again, it's being tenacious. It's really about tenacity. Like you've got to get on there. You've got to grind it out. Um, if it doesn't work the first time, try something else and try something else and just keep on going, really. Just keep going until something clicks, right? <laughs> awesome. Was well, there anything else that you want our listeners, our viewers to know about yourself, the brand that I have I have not asked? Awesome, Well, Well, I appreciate you coming on the White Pod and, and learning about Inhaler Taylor. Thank you so much.